Good morning, traders. Welcome to the Asian preview, the North American wrap from your friends at Privateer FX. I had some moves today, actually, in FX and stocks, bonds, everything. A little, little, little something for everyone today. Uh, here's a dollar max hourly chart. Let's get into that. So, nothing really news driven. But uh, we took out this old high from last week at 19, uh, 1914, which is also the uh, 1915 was the, the FIBO. Went up very quickly, 500 points, and then reversed down, back down in 1892, and closed back up here. So looked like a stop loss run to me over those, uh, those old highs. Um, The main event today was the FOMC meeting, which the statement was a bit more dovish. Uh, the Fed emphasized their 2% inflation target is symmetric, suggesting they will allow core inflation to run above target uh, for a little while. One thing they re removed from the statement was the economic outlook has strengthened in recent months. And when the market saw that, they you saw some dollar selling across the board um, and th this was after the uh, you know that we've had an extended dollar strengthening theme for the past uh, past couple weeks now um, you can see here on the hourly and the euro dollar uh, euro went back up to 120.25 and then went down and actually took out and made new lows for the day and took out the barrier at 119.50 uh, we do have FIBO support here in the euro that comes in. I had this drawn earlier. 119.40. Hold on. From the November low, the two thirds FIB comes in right around 119.40, which was low today you know, having a small bounce out that. But it looks like, you know, we've had a second consecutive day, daily close under the 200 day. You know, maybe we get back down here. We're basically, we're getting very close to unchanged um, on the year, which was around 119 the figure. So 119 figure to 119.40 is definitely, um, definitely uh, around uh, a decent, decent area of support. Uh, let's take a look at dollar yen that had to move higher today. We breached 110 the figure briefly. We did not get above the 200 a 110 20 it comes in today. But uh, it actually had looks like a bit of a doji day in dollar yen. Cable came under selling pressure with the broad dollar strength. You know the, the initial reaction was dollar selling on the FOMC and then everything turned around and we had dollar buying. Um, so if you look here, uh, this is another new. Can we focused on this the other, you know, the past couple weeks of just lower highs, lower lows. 200 days right here in cable. It comes in at uh, 135.35. Fibo down here. But we also have like unchanged on the year is right around 135 the figure. So um, let's take a look at the dollar index. Clear break here above the 200 day, 92. Traded up to 92.80. We're above some old daily highs. Everyone's targeting this 94 area, and it sure looks like it's getting going there. Um, what else was of interest? If you look at the equity complexes, we actually had, they were positive, up small, kind of most of the day. Here's an hourly chart. Um, we bounced a bit after FOMC, and then we saw, saw a pretty aggressive sell-off into the close, down to uh, just above this low, this 26, 23, 50 low, which is starting to look like, Here's our daily. We closed just below that uptrend line that we drew a couple of days back. The 200-day is in its, in its sights here, 26.15. I 
think if we start closing below here, it's going to be similar to what we've seen in the the reactions with the euro dollar closing under the 200 day, dollar yen approaching it, cable approaching its 200 day. Um, these could be, you know, the start of some pretty major trend changes in in both the dollar and in uh, and in equities. But we need, you know, consecutive closes under this 200 day in the S&Ps for me to get too excited. Um, pretty far away in the NASDAQ here. That's way down 63.82. So again, a reversal of the initial reversal of dollar strength from the, in the morning after the, what the market was, was uh, thinking was a slightly dovish outcome. But I think it was more of just dollar positioning, dollar long squaring up some of the weak dollar longs. And then the trend reasserted itself, and we see more dollar strength going into the end of the week. Good luck tonight, today, and uh, we will speak to you on the European Open. All the best. Cheers.